Hello everyone. So let's say you went, you got a hard drive and you hooked it up to your new shiny Mac or, you know, just your Mac. And uh, you want to uh, erase it, but it's uh, already an NTFS format, uh, which is basically made for Windows and you want to use it with your Mac. Or on the, you know, or you had this hard drive all along and you just want to use it uh, in both a Windows 7 and Mac. Well, I have the solution for you if you're encountering an error that I'm about to demonstrate. So, let's say, uh, you know, you go to Disk Utility, you go to Format It, uh, and you want to save it as, uh, uh, what's it called, XFAT or MS-DOS, so it can uh, read and write in both Windows 7 and Mac, or you just want to, you know, format it. So, you go, uh, like me, and you went and you selected your external hard drive, which is this one right here, and it's three terabytes, you're excited, you go to erase, and you go to format it, and you select XFAT, and you name it uh, anything really. So you go click erase, and you get, you click erase, and you get this error. So it says disk erase failed, disk erase failed with the error, invalid request. So how we're gonna fix this is we're gonna go all the way to partition, you're going to go under partition layout like I am. You're going to select one partition or however many partitions you want. Honestly, it's your hard drive. But I just want one. So just one partition, meaning no partitions, meaning just regular hard drive as one solid piece. And we're going to name it uh, drive. It doesn't matter what we name this. Drive one, right? All right. So we select MS-DOS and we're going to type in how much terabytes it has and we know for a fact it has three. We can find out here total capacity, three terabytes. And that's all I need, so three terabytes. And you're going to want to go under options. And I don't know what it's going to show for you because I've already done this, but more, the, more than likely it's going to uh, pop up as master boot record. Uh, record. Uh, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to just click on GUID partition table and you want to click OK. After that you just want to hit apply and uh, before you do that, before you do that, uh, because you're smart you know that your hard drive is about to get erased so you want to back up anything that you actually want to save from that hard drive and then you can just go ahead and click apply and you want to click partition and there you go no more errors, it's going to partition our drive just like we wanted it to. Or format it. So there you go. Uh, because this is uh, one of the branded hard drives, uh, Toshiba, it has, uh, it's in an enclosure, so it's automatically going to pop up as, uh, you know, hey, I'm Toshiba external USB 3.0 media, and then under it, in our sub-level, is going to be our drive that we actually formatted uh, as, uh, you know, uh, XFAT or MS-DOS. And if you want to just make sure uh, and go ahead, you, you want to click on this second one right here, the subdrive, if you have this. If you just have a regular hard drive that was formatted for NTFS or you had that error, you're good to go. You can stop watching this video right now. Uh, if uh, you have the sub-level here, you want to just make sure it's uh, formatted the right way. You want to go to Erase. And yep, MS-DOS, Drive 1, and just for good luck, just erase it once more. Let it finish loading. Alright, that's it. We're done. You're done watching the video. You know what to do. You know that you need to back up all of your files before you do this. And I really hoped I helped somebody because this was just mind-boggling for me. Because I went to my hard drive. I just went to erase. I put in, you know, uh, XFAT. And it just gave me this error. Uh, so, and uh, one more thing I want to mention. If you go back here and uh, you notice it's still macOS extended journaled. It's fine. You don't really, it doesn't really matter because you just, you're looking at the main drive, which is this one right here. And it is MS-DOS and it is three terabytes. So we're good to go. We're all set. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope I helped somebody. Uh, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.